Alright guys, it's Ghost. Welcome back to some more Fallout 4. I have no idea where Preston wandered off to. Um, what's my carry weight? It's been a few days since I left. Ah, oh, crap, I've got a whole bunch of stuff on me. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go quickly help these people over at the Green Top Nursery. There's Preston. And then we're going to head back, and I'm going to do some work on the various settlements. I'll tell you what's wrong with the Commonwealth. People can't see the big picture. I'll tell you what's wrong with the Commonwealth. People interrupt other people when they're talking, Preston. So yeah, I'm going to be putting recruitment beacons at all of the places that I currently have in con I'm in control of, and I'm going to be working on networking them together with supply chains and stuff like that. I haven't been putting enough time into the... Holy shit, that is a crater. I've been putting enough time into the settlement management part of the game, so I'm going to be doing some more work on that. So do I have a perk point yet? No, I'm almost level 22. So one thing I'm also going to be doing is I'm going to be working towards getting the scrounger perk, because as I've been lacking a lot of am ammunition, eh, ammunition, I also don't want to waste a whole bunch of time, or waste a whole bunch of caps buying ammunition from vendors. So I'm going to be, uh, hopefully getting a lot more from containers once I get that perk. That is a very, very interesting location there. But this is not our mission. We've been sidetracked by super mutants, which I thought was part of our mission, but apparently that's just a regular, random place. And not actually the place where we're supposed to be heading. So, well, I guess we'll deal with these... Wait, that looks like a nursery. Yeah, so this must be where we're heading. Alright, let's see if our vats can tell us anything about what we're fighting. We were just next to some super mutants. I'm really hoping it's something like ghouls or something a little easier to handle this time. Maybe some rad roaches. Um, got a lot of stuff here, but I don't see any people and or raiders. Very interesting. There's a settler. How are we supposed to help? Hello, ma'am. You needed our help. Did the minute send you? Yep. Yes, I'm here to help. What's going on? There's a group of raiders that won't leave us alone. Stealing our food and supplies. Threatening us if we can't give them what they want. We know where they're coming from, but we can't stand up to them ourselves. All right, well, it doesn't really matter how many. We can clear, we can wade through a river of uh, raider corpses. Don't worry, I'll take care of those raiders for you. I hope so. We didn't know what to do. You really are one of the good guys, you know? I'm glad you appreciate that, Preston. Thanks, Preston. I already know you think so. I know, but I don't know if you really get it. How unusual you are. Since okay. we met, I think you know I've really come to respect you, both as a leader and as a friend. Most people are just out for themselves, one way or another. Yes, I'm totally ones, not out for the loot. You're different. <laughs> you really care about other people even when it isn't convenient or even safe ah I've we have you danger risk all the your time. life more than once to help people just because it was the right thing to do and i, wanted I just to wanted you to know that well that it matters that you're making a difference <laughs> not your hero following your example not sure or we could flirt with preston well, we went high charisma for one reason, and that was to see all of the interesting things we could do in this game. So, uh, let's flirt with Preston I mean, a little bit. If any of that's true, a lot of it is because of you, Preston. I'm sure Piper is going to be you steaming be angry. A person. Oh, thanks. <laughs> that means <laughs> a lot coming worked. from you. Really? All right. Enough chit chat, huh? I get it. I, I give you some nice compliments, and you're like, enough chit-chat. 
Ah, not allied to the settlement yet. But I can still steal their crops. Alright, so let's see where this place is. So, I don't think we actually have his perk yet. Yeah, none of those look like new perks. So, I guess that was just the level one happiness with him. I thought we were, you know, already super um, loved in his eyes. Alright, what are we at? Green Top Nursery. Kill the ra raiders in Dunwich Borers. Alright, where the hell is that? Uh, our show on map. Oh my god, okay, that's... Well, looks like we might as well go to Salem and find that 10 millimeter thing as well. Holy crap. Oh! Breakheart Banks. That was the uh, mutant camp that we cleared. Alright. So I guess that was another settlement. I still didn't find the damn thing over there, though. Like, maybe that's just a farm symbol and not really a settlement symbol, and I've been reading it wrong all this time? I don't know. Oh, don't want to steal from these guys. That would probably piss Preston off. And I'm also aware that I don't need to flirt with all of the companions in order to get their perks, but, you know, the option's there. Might as well see where the dialogue leads. Alright, well, if we're going to have to head all the way back over there, we need to make a pit stop. I really want to go check out this town, but... We can't, we gotta we got do missions. We gotta focus on getting things done. So let's head back to Sanctuary. And then we'll dump our crap off. I need to do a little bit of weapon switching around. This syringer rifle I'm never going to use. Like, I keep forgetting about it, so I'm just gonna dump it off for now. I'll stuff it in my safe chest so I don't actually take it apart or anything. And then we'll go do a little bit of work on getting our settlements up and running. Everything okay? No attacks going on? No raiders storming the bridge? Lame. I mean, look at this place. Look how much we have for, like, we have 125 production and 30-something defense. Happiness is going up, which is good. How's you going, dog meat, huh? How's you going? You doing good, Klepto? I thought I had something to give you. I don't remember. I know a lot of you guys want me to go out journeying with um, Klepto a little bit more, and we will in a bit. I kind of want to get all the companion perks I have access to first, and then while we're waiting on finding new companions and stuff like that, then I'll go out and do that. Don't much care for good neighbor. That place is nothing but trouble. Mm -hmm. I'd like to uh, hey. trade. If you need a weapon, you've come to the right place. God, you have such an awesome outfit. <laughs> let's see what you got. Let me know what you'd like. All right, let's sell you some. Wow, you have 500. All right. Let me sell you all my drugs. You can have the cram. You can have the dandy boy. You can have the mentats. Huh, I didn't actually get all that many drugs. I guess I sold them recently-ish. Uh, you can have the razor grain. We don't need any of these things. I've got more than enough in my box. You can have the sugar bombs. You can have some vodka. Wow, you really didn't have that much to sell. Alright, what do you got? You got any special weapons in yet? Low sighted 50 cal hunting rifle. So I could use this gun to upgrade my current hunting rifle to 50 cal, but I don't have the ammo. That's the reason why I'm going for that other perk, is so I actually get some decent amounts of ammo from these containers. Combat rifle. Wow. Well, I gotta say, you have at least some pretty damn awesome stuff. Wow. If I ever have, and if I'm ever missing a mod or anything, I definitely can pick it up from this guy. Ooh, this guy actually has a better uh, end barrel for the Tommy gun. So I'm actually gonna let's see. I wonder if that's still my the same as my uh, spray and pray. I'm pretty sure it's a submachine gun. Yeah, it looks like the same thing. 
So I'm actually going to grab that one. It's only 340 caps. And that's a double barreled shotgun. Any of these an auto shotgun? No. Ooh. He's got recon scopes. Ooh, kind of really want one of those, but yeah, that's so expensive. It's also on the wrong thing. It's a suppressor. I don't want things that are suppressed. Ooh, he's got such cool things. I don't have ammo for any of it. All right, I'm gonna find. I'm gonna go sell him a whole bunch of bottled water. Get my caps back. Been growing pretty good lately. Good to hear. All right, store all my junk. Take some caps out of our profit. Take some of that purified Anything water. I can help carry? Ugh. Too much weight. Too much weight. You know what? I don't want to get too much random crap. You know what? Whatever. I'm taking it all. Um, just store the toolbox. I'm tired of having the, uh... All my junk from the aid thing not in my workshop. So I'm just going to put all of my, uh... Extra, like crops and stuff in here, so that way when I go to the cooking station, it just has all of the stuff I need for the cooking station as well. Wow, I've got a lot of these things. I wonder if I can actually start uh, cooking some stuff with these, with as much as I've got. Uh, mole rat chunks, that is the cook stuff. Mole rat meat, meat. Yeah, I can put the irradiated blood away. That's meat. Those are ferns. Keep the purified water. Um, it's all the meat. Eggs, meat, meat. Razor glade. Wow, I have a lot of farm crap. Right, I'm going to keep the 11 stim packs. I actually might need to pick up a few more. I haven't been getting enough off of enemies. Um, squirrel bits. Oh, that's... Shit, that was my roasted Meyer Lurk meat. Um, put that back. Ooh, I actually have some ammo in here. What is the ammo? Oh, it's the flares. Someday I'll use those flares. I have all my tar berries, my stingwing meat, the potatoes, the potato flowers, the thistles... Wild corn, the wild mutt fruit. There. Ugh, still overweight. What are you doing? Thank you. It's like I can finally think straight. Oh yeah, I pulled you off of the uh, um, shopkeeper duty. That's right. All right, time to take these shopkeeps for all the caps they're worth, so that way we have access to a bit more. You hear about that farm run by ghouls? No. Where is that? <clears throat> I'm sure I've got something you need. Hmm. Okay, well, thanks for sure. not marking that Let's on my map. Look. Great. You know, I kind of was interested in that, you know. All right. 770 caps. Bam! And that is how you make money from all the surplus water. Out here, getting. you gotta take things one day at a time. Yep, show me the crap you have. I'm taking <clears> your money. Looking to buy? I'll take a look. Sure. Here's what I've got. I'm so glad I have so many of these purified waters. I, I get so many of them a day, too. It's not even funny. All right, well, he doesn't have any cash. But we do have a trader in town. Lost track of how many ballistas I got. Yeah? Hey, Carla. You again. 
Yes, of course I'm here, here to, to trade. trade. Why else would I talk to a random a trader? Sure. Always happy to make a sale. Two hundred and twenty five caps. We'll take some purified water. You know, I probably could buy some ammo. It's not that expensive in trade for that, but I really don't need to. All right, Preston, get over here so I can take all the stuff you're carrying and we can get everything packed up and ready to go. All right, so is there anything in my aid that I need to get rid of? No. All right, let's do some cooking. Um, I'm actually going to leave some of the dirty water because I actually realized some of the other stuff is requiring dirty water as part of the recipe. Alright. So we got a whole bunch of experience for cooking that. Now there's actually, someone in the comments did mention that the swirl stew gives me 2 extra percent EXP gain for 2 hours. So I'm actually going to cook... Oh, I only have 1 squirrel bits. Damn. Well, I'm going to make one of them. And then I'm going to actually exit, take it, because I'm going to be doing a whole bunch of crafting. So now we get the bonus EXP. We can make nudie... Wow, noodle cups are just razor grain. That is actually really good. Vegetable soup... Extra rad resist for an hour, so that's like a default rad X. Um, it's 25 rad resist plus some healing. It is a little heavy, but uh, let's make a few of it since we have it. And then beverages, and let's get the roast. All right. Cook up all our other meats. So I need to remember to save the squirrel bits and not eat them. Mirelurk cake. Breathe underwater for 30 minutes. Requires Mirelurk eggs, Mirelurk meat. Wow. Um, yes, please. Oh, the egg om Meyerlich egg omelet is... Eh, I don't use AP that much. I'm gonna actually hold off on those. I'd rather have the, uh... Other thing. Mongrel dog meat. Rad scorpion egg omelet. Cures addictions. Alright, let's have one of those. Let's go with some extra energy resist. Stingwing fillet. Extra perception. That could be useful. Hey, we leveled up. Oh, level 22. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to spend our perk for the first time on an actual stat point rather than on a skill. So this will unlock the ability for me to get Scrounger next time I actually have a perk point. Maybe it's a little bit of a waste, but luck is never a bad thing, and I haven't run across the luck bobbleheads. That was really the only way I had of uh, finding things. Um, and now I have all these cooked things. You know what? I really should just... Yeah, whatever. Let's do this. Alright, so the armor and weapons I'm still going to keep separate, but everything else I am going to store in the workbench. Ooh, no, 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 no. Tab. Said, um, escape. Transfer. So I'm going to stuff the rest of my aid stuff in here. So... Baked bloatfly, bloatfly larva. We don't need that. All the bloatfly meat, the blood packs, blood bug meat, ramen meat. You know, it doesn't matter if it's in here or in my inventory, so I'm just going to go cook with the rest of the stuff. We haven't done that much cooking, so... Increased radiation resistance. Let's do a bunch of that. Let's do some blood bug steaks. Do some grilled rad roach, which is just a nice little cheap health thing. Uh, we had a lot more rad stag meat. Oh my god, we had rad stag meat. Extra carry weight for an entire hour? No complaints here. And more Mirelurk cakes. Some more beef and 
town chops, some more mutt chops. Wow, we had a lot of food sitting around that we didn't uh, do anything with. Oh, shit, I should have seen... Nope, we don't have any more squirrel bits. All right. Ribeye steak. Roasted Meyerlurk meat. Eh, plus 10 AP for 30 minutes. That's a, that's a good buff. I'd rather have that than the um, restores 50 temporarily. And then I can make vegetable soup, which is just rad resist. Energy resist. And that's just healing. All right. And then are there any drugs or anything what we can building? craft? Um, wow, we can actually just straight up make jet. It's fertilizer and plastic. Interesting. I'd rather keep the fertilizer. Mentats, we can make psycho. Wow. Did not realize we could actually do that. We can make molotovs. We can just make up some rad away. Eh. Mine, syringe ammo, cutting fluid. Wow, we have a lot of stuff for that. Let's make a little bit of it. And let's make one. Just to say we've done it. Alright. Now I can put all my junk away. Alright, so all my spare guns go into here. Cryo mines we're not going to use. I'll keep the frag grenades. I'm going to get rid of the Molotov cocktails, because frag grenades have actually been pretty helpful. Um, that is not the pistol we bought. Okay, we bought the muzzled hardened submachine gun. That goes in our special box. Let's see. Oh, and then these go in here. Alright, checkered certain slacks. That gets in the special box. Lightweight Shadowed Combat Armor Left Arm. Alright, so what is our current left arm? Reduces damage from robots, so that's the Troubleshooter's chest piece. We got a Combat Armor Left Arm that's already better. Get all the Raider bits. Super Mutant bits. One day we're going to dress up one of our companions in super mutant gear and just see how hilarious they look. Ugh, still haven't gotten rid of enough weight. Alright, we probably have too much aid stuff. So baked bloat fly is a bit of rad resist. I'm going to keep those around because that's going to be like a rad X. Um, blood bug steak, I will put all of those in there. That's just some more AP. That's healing. Like, we have that regeneration now, so we don't need quite as much of this stuff. Uh, wow, we definitely don't need uh, that many grilled rad sag. We only need one of those. One on a stick. It's pretty light. Medex, we only need one of that. Meyer Lurk cake. Um, let's get only keep one of those. Meyer Lurk eggs all go in there. The omelets... Uh, those just are quick restore for AP, so that's not a huge deal. Mole rat chunks. Uh, <clears throat> we'll put them away for now. Mutant hound chops are like free rat away, so I'll keep them. Fern flowers are ingredients. We'll put the noodle cups away. The mutt chops, we'll put about half of them in. Nuka colas, I don't like taking because it's. I'd rather make those into grenades when I learn how to do that. Purified water all goes away. Radex. Or no, we want everything but one. <clears throat> Rad away, we'll keep like three on us. Rad roach meat goes away. Rad scorpion, we don't need because we're not addicted to anything. I'll keep one of those for the energy resist in case we run into an area with robots. And I will be going back to that area that had all those robots, but I want to do that with Codsworth, because it seems like anything dealing with robots would probably earn happiness with him. Ribeye steak. That's a big healing item, so we'll keep that. Put the Meyerlurk stuff away. As well, the stick is light. We don't need a hundred and something stim packs. We're going to keep, like, maybe 20 of them on us.
Something like that, yeah. Stingwing filet is perception. We don't need that right now. Vegetable soup is our radiation resist, but it's heavy. We don't want the XL. And the Yalgrai ribs are good for damage resist. Yeah, I'll keep them on me. Alright. We'll dump our goodies in the safe. So, we did... We wanted to get the... Okay, I didn't put that away properly. We had a left leg, a chest piece. That's all we need there. And we'll modify our gun. <clears throat> so, oops, modify. So we'll take the muzzled, hardened, piercing submachine gun. Um, large quick eject drum. Do we have that on our spray and pray? Large quick eject gun, recoil compensating stock. This is a full stock. Short light barrel, powerful receiver, hardened piercing receiver. Uh, let's see how the hardened piercing compares to the powerful. No, the powerful is definitely more damage. We'll take the muzzle brake off, because that gives us the recoil without making it sound like crap. Then we can put that on the spray and pray. So now it'll sound so much better. Um, so now the spray and pray has the muzzled. And that's all we really needed there. Put those two pieces of gun back in our box. Now, do I have a muzzle 10mm? Because I want to get rid of that silencer on the 10mm. There we are. As much as I like having a silenced gun, it just doesn't feel powerful. Like, I'd rather have something that makes a good si sound bang. So, let's put that on our 10mm. So we get a little bit of recoil benefit, but we actually have a satisfying little, uh... Yeah, that's much better. And our spray and pray. Yeah, now that is a good sound. I like that. It makes me much happier when using them. Whoa, that's a lot of frag grenades. Let's keep five. Uh, keep five. Put that in there. Alright, so then all I have to do is store our syringer rifle, because it, it's cool and all, but I don't think I'll be using it much. Alright, and hopefully next time we, uh, well the next time we level up we gotta get this better scrapper perk, and then I can go through these two boxes and just get rid of everything. Break it all down, get all the cool stuff for everything I don't need. Um, those are all recoil, but I don't have any recon on any of those. Damn. I really want one of those recon scopes. Alright. We've wasted enough time. So now... Oh. oh we're gonna have to waste a little bit more time. So what we're gonna do is I am going to be making the... Recruitment radio beacons for all of our various settlements, so we can hopefully grow them while we're out gathering resources and stuff like that. So let's see what it needs. It needs a bit of steel, rubber, ceramic, copper, crystal circuitry. Alright, and then the generator, rubber, copper, ceramic, steel, gear. Alright. No, no, do not store. All right, so we need to make sure we have enough materials with us that way we can make those things at the locations we're going to be teleporting to. So let's grab some rubber, copper, ceramic. Um, that's 
is kind of heavy. Those are light. Need some steel. Those have crystal in them. Ceramic. Basically, I want to be able to make stuff, and I kept taking things from all the settlements, so I'm not going to actually have enough stuff at the settlements to make the recruitment beacon to get people at the settlements. So I'm trying to remedy that right now. I need some gears. Need some rubber. Ceramic. Um, did we need circuitry? I'm trying to remember all the stuff we, we needed. Um, so this requires copper, rubber, steel, ceramic gear. Alright, and then this requires... Yes, we do need two circuitry per place. Alright. Circuitry. We get one more circuitry, we can do five locations. Actually, it's probably cheap best if I just grab the raw materials that I need. I wish it sorted the raw materials as a separate thing. Because it would just be easier to uh, just grab those. Yeah, because it seems like these materials, once they're broken down, are much lighter weight. Silver. Let's get some springs. Alright, that should be everything we need. Hopefully. Or actually, we need a little bit of wood, probably, too. All the way down at the bottom. Oh, I wish there was a faster way to go down. But there is not. Yeah, we probably only need, like, a hundred wood. Actually, probably, like, sixty wood. Alright, we're going with 100 because I'm just too lazy to move. Alright. So, now let's go to all our settlements and put some recruitment build buildings down. So, first off, we've got Abernathy Farm. Now, I believe they actually already have power, so we won't need to make a generator. I can just hook the recruitment beacon into their existing generator, so that'll be good. Basically, if we have more bases that are big, we're likely to get more attacked more. So, I kind of want to see what an attack is like. All right, so where is your guys' generator? Um, or do you just get power directly? Oh my, do they get power directly from this thing? And I don't hear a generator. All right, whatever, it's going on your roof. Yeah, they have zero power. Recruitment beacon. I can make four of them. And then I don't think the generators require circuitry. Perfect. So I can make nine of these. Alright, that's one recruitment beacon for this place. Then we have... Um, oh, the truck stop can also be 
recruited to, so let's get some people there. Now, they're going to be super, super unhappy because they're not going to have food or water or stuff like that, but we'll handle that once we get some people there. And then we can meet the needs of the population we managed to draw in the time we're gone. Let's see, is there any generator or anything in this place? We're going to have to build our generator, too. We're going to have to build a generator. Alright, there's no way to get on the roof of this place, so we'll just put it right... Right here. So what are we short? Circuitry. Alright, I can make a run back. Actually, Sanctuary is just up the road, so I'll just run rather than uh, fast traveling and grab some more circuitry out of the box. And I actually can, in my Pip-Boy, make this easier on myself, is under the junk, do component view, and then I can actually tag circuitry and crystal for search. Um, I don't know if any of this else is, like, super, super rare. So let's just focus on circuitry and crystal, because those are going to be rare. Oh, come on, baby. You can run faster than that. Ugh, do some cardio. Even Preston's keeping up with you. May actually have been faster to fast travel. I figured it, since it was just a short loading time, I wouldn't need to, but... Yes, I was wrong. Alright. Transfer. Now, when we go into the junk, we should be able to see the stuff that has circuitry. Hopefully we have some more stuff with circuitry in here. That has crystal. Uh, yeah, let's take them all. That's adhesive. That has circuitry. Okay, now we're going to be able to finish off the rest of the settlements. Alright, so. We've got a... Oh, I never hooked up the recruitment beacon, damn it. Well, I guess we're fast traveling anyway. But yeah, so this way, they'll, every one of these settlements will passively be getting a settler or two settlers or something that I can work with, and then I can send them all the sanctuary so it hooks up the junk piles, and then I can have all the resources I need and the people I need to build up all of these different bases. There we are. Does that actually instantly recruit people? Because sometimes it does instantly recruit people, but it does not look like it has this time. I'm not sure if I have to make beds for people to get them to instantly recruit or not. Oh, Abernathy Farms actually has picked up one person already, so let's jump back over there. We'll send one of the per people into a supply line with Sanctuary. First time we've actually used the supply line feature. And then we'll just keep popping around place to place and getting all these towers set up. And then we'll go help out the bandits, because... Or help out by killing the bandits, which will make Preston happier. Oh, not another storm. Alright, where's our new settler? Who here is new? Oh, there's not enough water. Oh, that is unfortunate. You are Connie, you're Blake, you're Settler. Mm, I really kind of want to just... Alright, I'm going to put you on the supply line. I want to put you in Sanctuary Hills, because I thought it was... You know, I think it was really cool to uh, have all the ghouls as residents. Because, you know, they might, someone might be pre-war. They might know, you know, we can chat about the old days and stuff. Now, does that still count him as a person? It does. So let's go resources, water, and just give him a quick purifying pump so they're not whiny. No defense still, but that means if they get raided, we actually get notified anyway, so that's good. Alright. And there's a person at the Red Rocket truck stop, so we can go and assign them. So it looks like when I fast travel, it 
runs the uh, signal beacon and we actually get a person. Now, I'm not sure if I can send them as the only settler, but we'll give it a try. And then this way, while I'm out wandering the wilderness, I'll passively be gaining a few settlers, then I can assign one to crops, I can assign one to guard the base, and we'll actually have, you know, useful things. Hey, I... I just want to trade a few things. Sure thing. Oh, well, thank you for introducing yourself. Um, I want you to be a supply line. Why can't I send you to Sanctuary Hills? Maybe it's too close? That's interesting. Yeah, it's probably just too close for a supply line to actually run. Considering I can just run back and forth between the two, so that's going to be the only supply line I don't have connecting to uh, the main base. Alright, what other settlements do we have access to? We've got the Sunshine Cr Tradings Co-op, which I actually have a beacon stored in the workbench here. Plasma rifles and plasma pistols deal even more en energy damage than laser weapons. That looks so cool. I can't wait till we find plasma weapons. Sadly, we don't have access to them yet, but hopefully once we get that scrounger perk, we'll get even more ammo and we can actually do something with them. So I hope Dr. Goodfeels is still around. I like Dr. Goodfeels. Now this is more like it. Alright, so this is easy. Since we already made these things, we can just put them right back and hook them up again. There we are. Next settlement. Um, we've got Grey Garden. We've got Ten Pines Bluff, which doesn't have a signal beacon. We got Outpost Zamonia. All right, let's go to Ten Pines Bluff and get a recruitment beacon set up there. It's like I'm begging for attacks, just recruiting to all these places without like putting any infrastructure in. But you know, it happens. Hopefully Preston doesn't get mad when I have these, like, semi-functioning bases set up everywhere. And I'm glad the residents don't complain, like, oh, there's a generator too close to where we sleep or something. Oh, man, I'm out of copper. Really? Alright. Back to Sanctuary we go. Why is there only 15 people in Sanctuary? Oh, because, yeah, because uh, my uh, eye count is one of them. No, 15 people. There should be 18 people. The shit. How'd I lose three people in Sanctuary? The happiness was fine. Yeah, maybe it's just updating wrong. Is there 15 people or are there 18 people? There's 18. Alright, so we need copper. Um. Opponent view. Copper. Tag for search. Yeah, so we won't have to worry about doing this once we have the, uh... Once we have supply lines set up everywhere, because it will automatically do that. Oop, copper in that. Like, it'll automatically share all of these, uh... I don't know if I need fiber optics, but I'm gonna grab them anyway. Ah, fuses have copper. Alright, now we're good. was I saying? I, yeah, we will have access to everything. 
in all the workbenches once we assign a person to head here, so then we won't have to worry about hunting for materials that we need and stuff like that. Now, I don't think any of these places are going to get as built up as Sanctuary, because that Sanctuary is going to be my main base. It's going to get all the trading posts and stuff like that, but these guys are going to have water purifiers and all kinds of other stuff like that that'll help us out by producing profit or something like that. There we go. Now there's no complaints. Boom, that's hooked up. Alright, next place. Outpost Simonia. Now this place actually, I think, has a recruitment beacon because we had to set up for the quest, so that means we don't even have to spend any money making another one here. Now this beacon's gonna suck because we know there's a raider base, like, right down the hill. So this place is gonna probably get a lot of raids, but that's fine. It's also got a decent power infrastructure already set up, so yeah, there's a generator. Alright, we got a recruitment beacon up here. So much fast traveling going around. Alright, so then none of these are places we yet fully own. Um, Starlight Drive-In. Bobby pins, more effective than lockpicks. Um, yes, yes they are. <laughs> Every issue of Tempest today you collect slightly increases the sweet spot when lockpicking. Nice. Too bad I haven't come across many of them, but nice on all the same. Alright. Power generator over here. Recruitment beacon over here. Catch the wire. And we're done. And then we have... We've got the co-op. That's just a trailer estate. Alright, so there's Oberlin Station, Grey Garden... And I think that's it. That's all we've got so far. We gotta go help those guys on the beach over there. Alright, so let's go to Grey Garden. Yeah, I really should have done this very first thing. I was not thinking ahead and being efficient because I wanted Sanctuary to grow a lot, but I should have realized I want all the, the settlements to grow quickly because then I get more resources from all of them. Oh, Radiation Storm. Lame. Alright, these guys do not have their own generator, I don't think, so... Yeah, the rads aren't that bad anyway. Nope, they don't have their own generator, so we put one of those here. Hopefully we have enough ceramic to last. Alright. And then we go to Oberlin Station. Now, I'm wondering if, like, the radio towers and stuff I've been seeing in the Wasteland, like, give me better communication so I don't miss when some people are getting raided or something like that. Oh, cool, these places share food and water and stuff now. So the surplus of food and water we're producing at Sanctuary will actually support all these other places once it's up and running. <sighs> my back hurts, my feet hurts, everything hurts. And I wonder if I can... Nah, I'll just make the generator. I was gonna try to put it on the roof, but... That seems like more effort than it's really worth. Aha! We had just enough to make the last one. Alright, so now, can we hook you guys up to Sanctuary? No, because we need three people, one person... Ah, oh, no. Screw the food. Um, are you the... 
She's defense, you're food. So guess what? Your supply line. Go to sanctuary. All right. And hopefully, because they're supply lines, it means I can actually, no, get around needing the uh, food on all these places. Grey Garden now has an extra person. So I don't think you can send robots on supply lines. Maybe you could have. But we'll just send our new settler on the supply line. So we got all of our supply lines hooked up. This is actually going to be really, really good. I'm surprised Preston doesn't have a lot more happiness that we've got a gigantic settler network now hooked up together with Sanctuary. Alright, who is the odd man out? No pun intended. Or do only robots come to Grey Garden? Do you think it's easy being this beautiful? I assure you, it is not. Okay. Um, said there was seven. There are seven people here. All right, maybe they're just somewhere around the borders? I mean, I could, you know, sit there and uh, scrap some of these things for resources and whatnot. Oh, yeah, I probably could have been able to get enough rubber and steel and stuff just by scrapping the junk around all these places. Oops, my bad. Totally forgot about that. I, I went so thoroughly and scrapped everything on, uh, wow, 30 rubber. The main base that I totally forgot you could do it on these other bases. Where is your new settler? One, two, three, four, I guess you, they all are robots. All right. All right, Mr. Handy, you're on the supply lines. All right, and then we got a supply line. Oh, there's one person in Sunset Co-op, so we'll just instantly make them supply line. There's two people in the drive-in. Uh, Abernathy Farms is already... Actually, can we see which ones are hooked up? Ah, show supply lines. So, we've got the Red Rocket Truck Stop going to Abernathy, Abernathy to up to us. So that's the only weird link, because it was too close and they wouldn't let us do that. We've got these two linked up, and so we need to get this one, this one, this one, and this one linked up. So let's go here. I'm so glad it actually shows us the supply line, so I don't have to keep remembering which ones are hooked up and which ones aren't. But the other reason, oh, so I was going back to the reason why I didn't like assigning the one ghoul to the supply line, is the ghouls aren't affected by radiation, which actually makes them a stronger candidate for, is there any damn raiders coming up this road this time? No. A better candidate for being a defender, because if anyone attacks them with radiation weapons, it's like, pfft, nothing. Seems to be growing well. Alright, where is this person? Oh, there's like 50 beds in this place. This place needs to be scrapped and built from the ground up. Um, what does this sink give us? Steel and plastic. Oh, I didn't realize we had some food and stuff here. Nope, not here. Oh, come on. I could make the bell and just ring it, but it's not really worth the time. Or the materials. Come on, where is this one person who's apparently happy? Very happy. This has an almost higher happiness than Sanctuary. There you are, sir. You are heading to Sanctuary Hills. Alright, that'll probably kill this place's happiness, but... Whatever. Ah, good. Ten Pines has one. So let's see. Show supply lines. 
All right, so we'll do here, and then we'll do the two up there, and then we are done setting up all our supply lines. We can dump our rest of our crap back at main base, let these places fill up with travelers, and then once we're done with our next mission, or two missions, we can come back and start putting beds down and crops down and defenses down, and they'll have access to our crop surplus and food surplus from Sanctuary. Alright, where are these guys? This place! Holy crap, this should give me, like, tons of resources. Yeah, because each one of these cars, wow, it's 15 steel. Does this give me, like, circuitry and stuff? I probably shouldn't scrap anything until I get next level, because I get the scrapper perk, which gets me more rare materials, other than those barrels that were toxic in there. Alright, there's only one bed, and there's two people. Where the hell is everybody? Also, the happiness is really low here. inside the building? Are they in that building? Oh, there's somebody. Is that just some random person walking down the road? Nope, oh, I think that's one of our settlers. I don't think we've met yet. Nope. I'd like to trade some items. No, I don't want to trade. Can you, can you walk within the green line so I can actually send you to the supply depot? Is actually someone sitting in here? No. Come on, come within the green barrier so I actually have control over you, Mr. Settler. Or are you just a random guy walking down the road? Okay, apparently a random guy walking down the road. I, I can't scrap the skeletons. Um, but once I get the supply lines hooked up, I think it'll fix the happiness issue, so... That actually might not be a bad place for a bedroom out on that wing. There's a skeleton in that bed. Um, where the shit are all the people? There's literally two people here, somewhere. Ah! You came within the side of my bounds. Oh, and there's the other person. That's actually going to be a great... Great watchtower position. All right, congratulations, sir. You're the one closer to me, so you get to be on the supply line to Sanctuary. All right, so now with the sharing food and water, it should mean that defense, beds, happiness, those are the only things that are at issue, and they seem to be picking up whatever food they actually need. No, no, they're not. Okay, well, we'll deal with this. Show supply lines. Ten Pines Bluff. It's a lot of work to maintain all these settlements, and I can't imagine how many settlements there are total in the game. Like, I'm gonna have to spend some serious time keeping all these people happy. But, on the plus side, is as I open stores in all these locations, I'll make profit. Alright, who's the new guy? Oh, it's a ghoul. All right, you're staying here, mister. Oops. That, that is vats. I did not want to enter vats. You get to be our supply line to Sanctuary Hills. Confirmed. And also, let's plant a few pieces of food because you apparently need more food now. Um, let's get the useful crops. So you guys get some corn, some corn. Boom. All right. You guys should be all happy and shouldn't come. Plane. So the last thing we have is... That is really dumb that I can't just put a supply line there. Boom. Oh wait, is there no people over here? I never actually thought to look. Not apparently within the settlement bounds yet. Where is the edge of this place? Zero people. The happiness is going up, but there is n there's no one here to be happy. 
Uh, that's funny. Let's actually put a little bit of food here so we don't have to worry. Just put a random... Oh, we don't have any corn here. Um, Alright, we'll put a mutt fruit bush right here. It doesn't produce anything until we have people, but it's there. Alright, back to Sanctuary. We'll dump off our junk, and then... We'll head along and finish up the rest of the stuff that we had planned originally. Hopefully I haven't wasted too many days with all this running around and fast traveling, because I think it does actually consume daytime. But that just means there's more loot and stuff in the uh, box waiting for us. So transfer, store all junk. That'll now be transferred among all the workstations. We've got 15 flares. Do we have any money? No. But all right, we're all ready to head out and travel some. So that is perfect. And how the hell did the Brahmin get into that room? <gasps> all right, then. All right, quick check of our quest book to make sure no none of our... Places are... Oh my god, everybody's unhappy? Eh, I guess it's the defense and beds issue. Alright, anyone's happiness in trouble? No, no one's happiness is really in trouble. The truck stop could use some more happiness. I'm gonna go... Ah, screw it. It can stay unhappy. Hello, sir. Holy shit! Who are you? Anything I can do to help out around here? Um. Yeah, let me show you. Sure. Oh wait, no, these are all our supply lines. Provisioner, that's what they get. Okay, and they actually get apparently some armor and stuff. Preston Garp, Commonwealth Minimum. Good to see you. Makes me feel safe by having you fellows around again. Thanks for your support, friend. You can count on the Minimum to be there to help when you need it. Sure, sure. Now well, I'd better get back to it. Take care. Holy crap. Alright, I was checking the quest to see if there was... Investigate Covenant. Okay, none of these quests seem to be pointing to, you need to go save this settlement. So, that is good. Alright, so let's travel back to... The Green Top Merc uh, Nursery. And then we'll start heading over towards Dunwich Borers so we can get another settlement to add to our map. All right. Whew. Well, thank you very much for putting up with a gigantic episode of me running around building nothing but recruitment centers and checking out supply lines and stuff like that. <laughs> I want—I was going to do it off camera, but I figured you guys might enjoy seeing some of the management side of things and check out the tip with the marking the resources in your uh, Pip-Boy. <laughs> 